Hello there! Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic in composition is paragraph writing. Before we begin, let us understand what a paragraph is. It is a section of writing which consists of many sentences grouped together to discuss one main subject or topic. And so, a paragraph writing is a form of creative writing and hence requires a lot of thinking. The aim is to always highlight the main subject or the topic. The two types of paragraph writing that we would be studying are first, descriptive paragraph writing and second, imaginative paragraph writing. But before we could continue, there's an interesting yet a very important method that you need to follow while writing both these types of paragraph writing. Let us see what that method is. So, the common method that applies to both the descriptive and the imaginative paragraph writing is the Burger method. Just like a burger, a paragraph also consists of three important parts, without which neither a burger nor a paragraph will have any meaning. So, let us imagine that the top layer of the burger is the introduction or the topic sentence. The middle layer is the body or the details of the paragraph and the third is the conclusion or the closing sentence and therefore when all these three parts come together we get a complete paragraph furthermore the first layer tells us to introduce our topic with a meaningful yet an interesting and an impressive sentence. The middle layer should consist of at least five to six important details about the topic. And the closing sentence should conclude with a finishing sentence that is as impressive and interesting as the introduction. Now, let us start with the descriptive paragraph writing. A descriptive paragraph is a focused and detail rich account of a specific topic describes a person, place or thing in such a way that a picture is formed in the reader's mind. Examples My family My favorite game or sport My favorite place etc. Here are a few tips that to help you write a perfect descriptive paragraph. First, brainstorm. That is, think about the subject or the topic before writing. Second, the introduction and the conclusion has to be very interesting. Third, ask WH questions to yourself and add those details in the paragraph 2. Example, what, where, when, why, etc. Fourth, create sentences which enables the reader to create a picture of the topic in their mind. 
make use of the five sensory organs and also add some adjectives to enhance the paragraph. And sixth, avoid repeating sentences and writing lengthy paragraphs. Here's an example or a model of a descriptive paragraph writing. My birthday party. I celebrate my birthday on 17th November. Last year, my family gave me the best party ever. All my friends and cousins were invited. There was a magician who showed us cool magic tricks. We played numerous games and had lots of fun. I was surprised with the big, colorful and scrumptious unicorn themed cake. My mother cooked mouth-watering food while my father brought us ice creams. The exciting part was that I received many wonderful gifts. Everyone enjoyed the party to the fullest. It was indeed the best birthday ever. Here, the yellow highlighted font is the introduction, while the pink at the end is the conclusion. Have you noticed? that both these parts are short, yet gives a pretty good start and an end to a perfect paragraph. Whereas, the black font is the body of the paragraph, which consists of all important details of the topic, the birthday party. by adding a lot of adjectives like these will enhance the reader's mind as he will easily be able to connect to the writer's description and thoughts. We now move to the second type and so an imaginative paragraph is a free play to imagination. It is not based on actual facts or real experiences, but is related to the world of imagination where everything and anything is possible. Examples If trees could talk, if I had superpowers, if I get a magical wand, or if I were a teacher. Let us quickly go through the tips for writing a perfect imaginative paragraph. First, brainstorm. That is, think about the subject or the topic before writing. Second, the introduction and the conclusion has to be very interesting and impressive just like the descriptive paragraph writing. Third, again ask the WH questions to yourself and add those details in the paragraph. Fourth, create an imaginary situation before writing the paragraph and include other characters if required. Fifth, the situation must relate to the topic only not add unnecessary events or sentences. Sixth, make use of the five senses and also add some adjectives to enhance the paragraph. And the last, avoid repeating sentences and writing lengthy paragraphs. Let us have a look at a model for imaginative paragraph writing. The topic for the example here is If I were a bird. So we shall begin the paragraph 
with a short and interesting introduction. If I were a bird. Birds are the most blessed of all living creatures as they not only live on land but can also fly freely in the sky. If I were a bird, I would like to be a parrot. Then comes the details that is the body of the paragraph. I would live in a tree but can never imagine myself trapped in a cage. I would want to be a free bird flying around this beautiful world. I would fly from one place to another in search of food and water. I would chirp and make everyone's morning cheerful. I would also flutter my wings and go for a cool splash in the bird baths made by the humans. And the conclusion goes like this. Ah what a lovely feeling it would be to be a bird just for a change. Again, here, the yellow highlighted part is the introduction, while the pink is the conclusion. The main body of the paragraph, which is in black, consists of various imaginary situations that could possibly happen if I were a bird. Similarly, a few interesting adjectives were also added in the paragraph to enhance its writing. So, this is how an imaginative paragraph is written. So, these were the two types of paragraph writing. Thanks for watching. The new normal is here. So, please do sanitize, wear your mask. Stay home and stay safe and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.